Psalms chapter 53. To the chief musician upon Mahalath, which is a temple choir, or apparently a temple choir, Mashiel, its instruction, a psalm of David. Now you're going to find this twice. The fool has said in his heart, not head. There is no God. Atheism is a heart condition. And God says, the God that they don't believe in says, you're a fool. What is God going to call every atheist at the great white throne judgment? Fool, step up. Psalms 53, verse 1. And I believe it's, I forget, there's another psalm. I think it's 27, 1. There's two places this is said. Atheism is just, you know, okay, if I don't if I say I don't believe in God, then I don't have to be a hell accountable to him. Corrupt are they. Now that's an interesting word that you don't need to look up in the dictionary. Your no nothing is born corrupt. I know we're born in sin. But when you're looking at atheism in the study that we're doing Tuesday nights, which we'll probably maybe do tonight, is everyone is born, we're going to look at conscience, at least in that next study. Everyone's born with a conscience that there's a God. Corrupt means you start off good and you get to the state of bad. So a man that says that there is no God in his heart, at one time, he never said that. And have done abominable iniquity. But well, why would you want it held, held accountable to the abominable iniquity if there is a God? So I'll just excuse and say, no, there is none. And the problem is with this verse here, it's not the verse that's the problem. For many of your, your, your true heart-believing atheists, if the condition is not really just, okay, I don't believe in God, and that ends it. If they truly believe with the heart, with the heart man believes on righteousness, you will not be able to get a true atheist saved. Now, granted, you can't just say somebody walks up to you, you know, uh, if, if you were to die today, where are you supposed I don't believe in God. Don't take that right away. But at one point when you're dealing with somebody and you really think in your heart as you're praying inside how you're dealing with this person and you really believe from the heart that this guy does not believe in God, do not go any further. You are wasting your time. And, oh, what are you saying? And this is soul winner. One that is on the streets that passes out gospel tracts. There's a point to realize that with the heart, man believes on the condition. What is the condition of this God? His heart is, there is no God. There is no way to reach him. You got to stop. What the Bible says, the heart is deceitful above all things. Jeremiah 17, 9. This guy has been so well trained by somebody. Why is it we talk about the communists, you know, the Russians and the Chinese and, and cults, that they, 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 they work into people's minds and their hearts and, and they make them these soldiers of, of, of unmercifulness and, you know, the, the, the evil Nazi party and these people are brainwashed and all that. Why don't we say that about the public school system and the education system that we have in America that they have put into the hearts of these people? There's no God. By saying that there's no creator, that we, we come from nothing, which is something. And you put into the children millions, if not billions of children, that for them, God calls them a fool because they say in their heart as they've been trained, there's no God. 
Don't you start blaming the Nazi party. America government, public schools, and education system has defiled more people than whatever the Nazi and Adolf Hitler and Chinese and Russians have ever done combined. You know, we fought the war of communism, and we won in the Cold War. No, we didn't. We're raising a nation of fools, according to Isaiah 53.1. You don't believe me? Let's go get a government grant from Washington, D.C., from President Obama. We'll get money to do the study. We will visit every elementary school in America, every one. We will visit every middle school in America. We will visit every high school, public schools in America, and we'll tally every child that walks out of that place and ask them one question. Do you believe in God or do you not believe in God? What do you think the answer is going to be? And where did they learn that answer? Well, they got it for themselves. You're violating our study on Tuesday nights. In which school of the public school system and colleges do they teach through government money that there's a creator? There is none that doeth good. For all have sinned and come to show the glory of God. There of all have sinned. You are looking at the state of a person before he knows God. And there are some that say in their heart there is no God. For whatever reason. And God lumps them all together. They're all sinners. And how do you deal with a sinner at Calvary today? But you said, if they, yeah, they believe in their heart. But there are people that say there is no God, and they're not saying it from the heart. They're just saying to get you off their back. Isn't it amazing? You know one thing I've noticed downtown? And I, don't know, I don't know if it's Satan or the churches. or Why is it when people come up to, I've already got a track. From, it's like, wait a minute. We're a family. We're sitting here. We've only been here for about an hour. I'm not talking about last week where we broke up the two groups. But if we're just sitting here as a family. We're together. Where did you get this track? We're the only ones down here. Why is it that somebody will come up to you? Oh, I already got one. Where did they get that excuse from? And if you were to be rude and cruel and say, okay, show me, show me where you have it. You want to have some fun? Make them produce it. I've been tempted a couple times to do that. And then take them over there in Revelation and say, we're liars, we'll, have, have, we'll not have their part in hell, in hell. There are people who will say they don't believe in God, and there are people who actually believe it. And there is none that doeth good. So what do you get Christians to say? I'm doing good. No, <laughs> no you're not. There is none that do it. There's no loophole. There's no, you know, uh, uh, no, you, George Smith, you're the greatest. All right, God, look it down from heaven. Well, we've been reading all the way through Job and, and Psalms and, and all through, that the wicked think God don't see us. And Psalm says that God look it down from heaven. Now let me read you something here today. I don't usually do this, but let me read. Uh, let's see if I can find it real quick. This is something amazing. It, it amazed me when I read this. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to find it. I don't want to spend too much time. But, uh, where is it? Oh, well. I won't be able to find it. Maybe it's going to come up. Well. God looketh down from heaven upon the children of men. The eyes of the Lord in every place behold the good and the evil. God sees what you do. It's not Santa Claus. And it's not, oh, if I'm a good boy, I'll get presents. If I'm a bad boy, I don't get nothing.
Well, I wish I knew what that verse was. Uh, it's just irking. It's one of my readings. I read it today. Maybe it's in Ezekiel. Hmm. I wish I knew where it was. I thought it was somewhere. Let's see. Somewhere. Oh, I wish I knew. Well, it says that God humbles himself to look down. I know I read it today. It would go wonderful with this verse. I'm sorry, I don't know where it is. But God is watching us. It says the children of men. Does it say save? Does it say Israel? Remember how, as we go through this, I keep saying, this is Jewish, this is Jewish, this is Old Testament. But what's it say there? Children of men. God is watching us all. To see if there were any that did understand the knowledge of God, to understand the relationship to God. I know how to do things. I, well, I have knowledge to do something. That's knowledge. Wisdom is I know how to apply what I know. Understanding is ability to know and ability to apply and my reference and giving it to God. That did seek God. God was looking for somebody, and I believe it says in Isaiah, I'm looking for somebody to fill in the gap, to fill in the hedge. You would think by time David writes this psalm since Adam, of all the people in the world, he would find somebody. He found Noah. Oh, Noah had his chance and he got drunk. He took Enoch. But did you read about Enoch? There was a while there he didn't walk with God until after his son was born. Then he started walking with God. He gave Adam one certain simple command. Adam blew it. Abraham. Well, honey, tell, tell him you're my sister. Not once, but twice. Man is a sinner. So as you're seeing Psalm 53, you're seeing that God needed a sinless man. Let's keep reading. Everyone. Does that exclude you? Every one of them is gone back. Romans 3.12. They are all together become filthy. Our righteousness is a filthy rag, Isaiah says. And you know that filthy rag? I heard somebody say this recently that, you know, that filthy rag is a, a how can I be clean but a, a monthly rag. Those filthy rags. I won't get any further. Filthy. Dirty. And you're made from dirt. You are what you are. Dirt. There is none that doeth good. I'm doing good. How many, how many people here say, I'm doing good. God says, no, you're not. You have somebody say, well, I never tell a lie. Remember this verse. And ask him, you doing good? I'm doing good. No, you just lie. He says, God said, there's none that doeth good. You just lie. And they'll, they'll fight you. No, not one. If you have somebody who comes up to you, oh, I'm a good person. Read that verse to them. And they fight with you and still proclaim their righteousness. Walk them away. You cannot deal with them. They are a liar. This chapter is dealing with the unsaved. Have the workers of iniquity no knowledge? They know how to, what, what knowledge do they know how to do wrong. <laughs> Isn't that great? 
who eat up my people as they eat bread. Now, the tribulation period, that's going to be literal. You know, in the siege of Jerusalem, they were eating their babies. They were eating each other. There are cannibals out there. That have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat bread. Can I be can I be really can I be really frank and, and truthful right now without offending nobody? Yeah, right. My people, who are God's people? Aren't they Jewish? Now was Jesus Christ Jewish? The answer is yes. Do you know a place or people that will say that they eat a body of a Jewish man? They take this element they call and they hocus pocus fee fi fo fum and e plumers human and all that other junk. And it, and it, it listen, it, it is not as it, in their encyclopedia it says it becomes the literal body and blood of of a Jewish man all right would you would you agree with me on that unless you're part of that church you're, you're angry with me but would you agree that they say that they eat a Jewish man literally go read your Roman Catholic encyclopedia go ask your priest uh, mister I don't say the F word for them that's an F word by the way you know for them more than four letters, but say, guy who wears his shirt on backwards, is this really the body of Jesus Christ? Really? And they will answer, yes. Okay, now, have the workers of iniquity no knowledge who eat up my people as they eat, what's that word? Bread. There you go. The mass is an iniquity. They take the, the wine and the bread, don't they say? Have not the workers of iniquity no knowledge that they know that it's not a body, it's a piece of bread. And for eat it as it were my people. God just gave you the mass in, in Psalms 53, verse 4, and called it an iniquity. And some of you are angry as hell at me for saying that. Now all I do is speak the truth. And watch this. They have not called upon God. Doesn't that guy get up there and say, oh, rah, 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 rah. Speaks like he's got a tummy ache from hell. And suppose he calls upon God the, 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 the hocus pocus, that thing. That verse is, is to attack the mass as an iniquity. That's the Bible. It's in black and white. You read it. I bet you probably your Catholic Bible hasn't changed. You need to get a King James Bible if you want the Word of God. All right. There were they in great fear. Where no fear was. For God has scattered the bones of him that encampeth against thee. Thou hast put them to shame because God has despised them. Imagine a army that runs from nothing. And that is the state of America today. We are a Prozac nation. We are afraid of things that we don't even know what we're afraid of. We got lists and books of phobias. The phobia of ladders, the phobias of 13, the phobias of Friday, the phobias of water, the phobias of this, the phobia of phobia. It's probably a phobia of phobias. A phobia mimic. We are a nation of fear. And then we have bumper stickers and window stickers that says no fear. Well, if you're standing in the middle of a road and here comes a bus at you at 65 miles per hour, I think I would have fear. And if you don't, you are dead. If you don't fear, why do you have locks on your doors? 
The locks on your doors will show that you fear somebody coming in who does not belong in your house. If you wear clothes, well, you, 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 you have fear of people seeing you naked. We are a, a nation of fear. And we hide behind pills and drugs and alcohol. And that fear comes from God because you do not fear God. Oh, that the salvation of Israel would come out of Zion, the Lord Jesus Christ, the second advent. Or the first advent. When he came out of Zion and went to Calvary. When God bringeth back the captivity of his people, that is second advent. It's also, the, it's also the time when they went back under Ezra and Nehemiah from the Babylonian captivity. Jacob shall rejoice and Israel shall be glad when the Lord Jesus Christ comes and receive him as their Messiah. Salvation's plan is just a fairy tale, but their lies don't change the truth that Jesus died for you, and the word says his return. 